Our second article is titled, Zoos are not good for animals. Let me bring the camera in a little closer so we can see the words more clearly. Imagine that you are visiting a zoo. You notice a lion in its cage pacing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The lion seems restless and unhappy, and it probably is. Experts say that when a lion, tiger, or other animals paces in the cage, in its cage like that, it often means that the animal is bored or upset. Does that make you feel bad? If so, you're not alone. Many people believe that keeping animals in zoos is cruel and unnatural. For one thing, some of the enclosures in zoos are much too small for the animals. Many zoos try to make their enclosures look like the animals' natural habitats. But just because it looks right to us does not mean it's good for the animals. Take elephants, for example. In the wild, elephants walk as much as 30 miles every day looking for food and stopping at water holes. Not even the best zoo can build enclosures large enough for elephants to live as they do in their natural habitats. In the wild, animals learn how to survive when they're very young. For example, a young leopard learns how and where to hunt by watching its mother. When they are raised in zoos, leopards and other young animals never learn these and other important skills. They do not have to because humans feed and protect them. This is not a good thing. Most animals raised in zoos can never go back into their natural homes. Some people say that zoos teach people about animals. Others argue that we do not have to put animals in cages to learn about them and that they belong in their natural habitat. So now I want you to go onto your seesaw activity and complete the activity on um, the second article.